In this video, we are going to learn about the JavaScript array sort method and this method allows us to sort the element of an array in different ways. We can sort arrays of numbers, strings, objects or even custom types. By the end of this video, you will be able to use this sort method to manipulate arrays. So let's get started. Now this sort method is a built-in function of the array object in JavaScript. It takes an optional parameter which is a function that defines the sorting order. If you don't provide a function, the sort method will sort the array elements in ascending order according to their string values. For example, Let's say we have an array of numbers like this and if we call the sort method on this numbers array and if we write numbers dot sort and if we hit save and if we log this numbers array you can see this sort method converted the numbers to string and then sorted them alphabetically and this is not what we want. We want the numbers to be sorted numerically from the smallest to largest. Now to do that, we need to provide a function that compares two elements of the array and return a value that indicates their relative order. And this function is called a compare function. And here you can see the syntax of this compare function and the sort method will use this compare function to compare every pair of elements in the array and sort them accordingly for example to sort the numbers numerically we can use this compare function like this here in this compare function we need to return a minus b and if we hit save and if we pass this compare function to this sort method and if we hit save you can see now we sorted our array in a correct order and this is because this compare function return a negative value if this a is smaller than b and a positive value if a is larger than b and if both a and B are equals then it will return 0 and that is why it sorted this numbers array in ascending order as you can see in our console. Now we can also sort these numbers in descending order by reversing the sign of the return value like if we do B minus A instead of A minus B then you can see now we have our number array in descending order. Now we can also use the sort method to sort the arrays of strings. By default, our sort method will sort the strings in ascending order. For example, let's say we have an array of names like this. And if we call our sort method on this names array and if we write names dot sort and now if we call this method and now if we log our names array you can see this is the expected result that we have in our console because the names that we have in this array are already in alphabetical order however if we change the order of these names here like if we cut this from here and if we paste this here, then after saving, you can see first we have Alice, then we have Bob, then Charlie, and so on. Now one more thing to keep in mind is that the sort method is case sensitive, which means that uppercase letters come before lowercase letters. For example, let's say we have an array of colors like this and now 
if we call our sort method on this color the ray and if we write color dot sort and now if we log this color array the uppercase colors come before the lowercase colors which is not what we want we want the colors to be sorted alphabetically regardless of their case now to do that we need to provide a compare function that converts the string to lowercase and then compares them now for our compare function we are going to use our arrow function and here we are going to use two parameters for this function and these are a and b then here first of all we are going to convert both strings to lowercase now to do this we can write a is equal to a dot to lowercase like this and we are going to do the same thing with our b value b is equal to b dot to lowercase like this and now we are going to compare them as usual and we can write if a is less than b then return minus 1 and if a is greater than b then return positive 1 and if a is equal to b in that case we are going to return 0 now if i hit save and now this function will return a negative value if a comes before b alphabetically and a positive value if a comes after b alphabetically and 0 if a and b are both equals therefore it will sort the string in ascending order and ignoring their case now if we hit save and if we take a look on our array you can see now the colors are sorted correctly you can also sort the strings in descending order by reversing the sign of these return values now to sort the strings in descending order we only need to change this value and this value here if a is less than b then we are going to return 1 and here if a is greater than b then in this case we are going to return minus 1 and now if we hit save you can see now our array is in descending order first we have y then r then g and at last we have b and this is how we can sort our strings using this sort method and that's all i want to show you in this video so we learned how to use the javascript array sort method to sort arrays of different types we saw how to provide a compare function that defines the sorting order we also learned how to handle case sensitivity and numerical sorting now i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new if you did please like share and subscribe thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video